What is up guys, Underpowered here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a flawless 122 kills, 0 deaths on Advanced Warfare. Going to be using the HBRA 3 in this game. I do pick up a DNA bomb as well which is pretty cool. And then we were on board for a 200 plus kill game. We finished the first half with 90 plus kills but because of the triple capping which was going on the game ended within around 7 minutes and we picked up 122 kills which was actually pretty cool. Before I do get into the main topic of this video guys I'm just going to tell you guys what I was using in this game, how I got this gameplay and why I was using that certain setup. So I'm going to be using the HBRA 3 Insanity which is probably one of the best guns in Advanced Warfare in my personal opinion. Definitely one of the better elite guns the Insanity is anyway because a lot of the elite guns do have side effects like say less damage and stuff like that. So I'm going to say this gun is really really awesome in my opinion. But and the setup I'm going to be using on this gun is I'm going to be using the stock, quick draw and the extended mags. One of the best setups and one of the many setups to use on this gun. No setup is wrong, whatever you're comfortable using, that is the best setup for you, but in my personal opinion, this is one of the best setups. Also, this gun is really awesome with a suppressor, if you did miss my recent video, which is the best stealth class in Advanced Warfare, link will be down below in the description, go click on that video after you watch this one, and it will give you the best stealth class setup in Advanced Warfare. So the perk setup I'm going to be using in this video, guys, is going to be the usual perk setup. I always use this number one perk, it's the best in Advanced Warfare. I don't care what anybody says, low profile is the perk to be using because the bad players are going to be calling in support UAVs and the good players are going to be spamming UAVs anyway because they're going to get them very easily. So low profile, blind eye and scavenger of course because I'm going to get a flawless game and I don't want to be picking up weapons off the floor and stuff. Even though I didn't intend for this game to be flawless, I still intend to go on a lot of kill streaks in the game anyway. The kill streak setup I'm going to be using guys is the UAV with a threat detection. Bombing runner completely standard in this video which is very easily to get with a 700 plus point which is actually pretty cool in my opinion and I'm going to be using the aerial assault drum with the AI control and the rockets which is a really really good kill streak if you do place it in the right direction. Then I'm going to be using the warbird with the defender and the extra time and I would definitely recommend using the extra times even if you do like using the aggressor or you do like to manually control it yourself always use extra time because the warbird without extra time doesn't really last too long at all so use extra time every single time guys. As you will see in this gameplay guys, the second half of this game I do play a little bit more defensive than what I do in the first half and that's just because I didn't want to die because usually if I have had a few deaths in the game I'll just be going straight in the spawn, killing all the enemies, trying to get as many kills as possible but when you haven't died and you're on like 90 plus kills then you tend to play a little bit more defensive just so that you don't die because it's really cool to get a flawless game. But um, anyway, let's get straight into the topic of the video, guys. And um, the topic which I want to talk about in today's video is going to be sensitivity in advanced warfare. The reason why I'm making this video, guys, is just to let you all know, know what sensitivity I do play on because I did have a question the other day when I was playing with my good friend Trollbar. He asked me, what do I play on? And I told him I play on a 4. And he was actually pretty shocked because he does play on a little bit higher than me. And I basically explained to him why I do play on a lower. And I thought I'd make a great video today for you guys just to help you all out because some of you guys may be having a little bit of issue with your aim or you might have perfect aim with a higher. That's completely understandable but um, this is my personal opinion. I hope this video does help a few of you guys. But um, I play on a 4 guys and it's pretty low. It is pretty low in my opinion. Maybe I could play on a 5 but um, I find that my aim is better on a 4 because when I was playing on a 5 my aim would be a little bit more sketchy than what it would be on a This game is really fast paced and I'm a higher sensitivity in close range combat may be pretty cool. But um, the way I do play I try to create as much space as possible and um, I try to be able to control the engagement at all time and I know that Woody's Game Attack does say that control the engagement but he is completely right. I try to control the engagement at all times and then um, using the force sensitivity actually does help me do that because I find if there is a guy across the map and I'm aiming at him, see I'm using the HBRA 3 without the grip, the gun's got a little bit of recoil, a little bit of kick to it anyway. And um, say I'm shooting at him and he's moving, to track the target on a higher sensitivity then it's going to be a lot tougher than say when I'm playing on a 4. And if you want to be really accurate maybe you can go on a 2 or a 3 but I find that's a little bit too slow because in this game you are jumping, spinning around, doing all that good stuff. 
But the only problem is when you are playing on a lower than when you are playing on a higher is, say there's a guy right next to you at close range and you're aiming down the sight, you may have to take your aim out of the sight, put, put it onto the target, then aim back in, when if you are on a higher then you can quickly aim at him and spin around and shoot guys in the back if they have by you very, very easily. But like I said, you're going to have a lot more trouble targeting at long range with a higher sensitivity just because the aim is going to be going a lot more wild. There's not really that much more to talk about now in this video guys because sensitivity is just a number in the game. You guys can use whatever you're comfortable using. I'm really comfortable using the 4, that's why I'm trying to recommend it to you guys. But say you don't want to use the 4, say it's a little bit too slow, then go ahead. Go on to a 5, that might be a little bit better for you guys. But personally myself, I don't like playing on high sensitivity, I just find it too fast. Harder to keep your aim on target, I like to play on a low. Move a little bit more slower, you've got to take it a little bit more easy, take it a little bit more slow but you will find at longer ranges that your aim will be a little bit better. I used to play on a 10 myself, guys, back in Modern Warfare 2 when I did snipe, but I actually did lower it when I started to use more regular guns. But um, in my personal opinion, this is the best what suits me, and I definitely hope it will suit you guys as well. I'm pretty sure that some of you guys may benefit from this video. If you don't, it's completely understandable. I'll bring some more tip videos for you guys in the future. But um, if, you do, if you guys did enjoy this video, could you please leave a thumbs up? I would really appreciate it. There's going to be a lot more tip videos coming in the future. i got a lot more planned for you guys. If you did miss my previous video, which was 150 kills with the ARX 160 with 100 kill reigned, I think a lot of you guys actually did miss it. Link will be down below in the description as well, guys. But um, I'm going to leave you guys now. Hope you have all enjoyed this video. And if you could, please leave a like rating. I would really appreciate it. 122-0. Pretty insane gameplay, in my opinion, with the HBRA3. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, guys.